Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to fix the D3D11 error message. All right, so let's begin with the video. This message usually occurs when playing Fortnite, but it can also occur on other games as well. So if you're getting an error message like the one displayed on screen now, what you need to do is head over to the Start menu on your computer and search for Adjust the Appearance. Then select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Click on the Advanced tab at the top, and underneath Virtual Memory, select Change. In this window here, make sure you have Custom Size selected, like so, and you're going to change the number in Initial Size to 1024. Then for the Maximum Size, you need to multiply 1024 by the number of GB of RAM you have available on your computer. So for example, on my PC, I have 8 GB of RAM, so what I'm going to do is head over to the calculator on my computer and just multiply 1024 by the number 8 and hit enter, which is 8192. So I'm going to type that in here. Now obviously, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, then you would need to multiply 1024 by 16 or whatever amount of RAM you have on your PC. So once you've set these two numbers here, click the set button like so and then go ahead and confirm. So just changing this should have now fixed that error message. But if you are still getting an issue, what you can do instead is head over to the Start menu and search for Device Manager, and then click on the Device Manager window. Click on Display Adapters from the list and expand the dropdown, and you need to locate your graphics card underneath Display Adapters. Then all we're going to do is right-click on your graphics card and select Disable Device then press Yes to confirm. And then what you need to do is re-enable this device just by right-clicking back on it, and you can select Enable Device. Once you've made these changes, you'll then need to restart your computer, and that should have now solved the error message. So that's basically how you can fix the D3D11 error message. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.